HIV once brought the world to its knees. Today, we have proof it can be beaten. People have actually been cured, and prevention tools are better than ever. Yet high costs, limited access, and lingering stigma still keep millions at risk. How can we ensure these breakthroughs reach everyone, and finally, end the HIV epidemic for good? This is Grinder Presents The Equality Spotlight, a series exploring the stories shaping Grinder for Equality's mission, a world where LGBTQ lives are free, equal, and just. HIV has been part of our world for over 40 years, but recent breakthroughs have given us hope like never before. Eight people have been cured of HIV. How did this happen? And what does it mean for the millions living with the virus? Most commonly, these individuals were battling leukemia and received stem cell transplants as part of their cancer treatment from donors who, in most cases, had a rare genetic mutation in the CCR5 gene. The CCR5 gene acts like a doorway that HIV uses to enter our immune cells. In people with this mutation, the doorway is effectively closed, preventing the virus from infecting new cells. We spoke with Kevin Robert Frost, CEO of AMFAR, the Foundation for AIDS Research, to learn more. Because what we know and have known for more than 20 years is that people who carry this CCR5 mutation are largely immune to HIV infection. Finding a donor who is both a genetic match and has the CCR5 mutation is incredibly rare, like finding a needle in a haystack. In fact, the mutation is mostly found in a small percentage of people of Scandinavian descent. So stem cell transplantation is a very complex procedure. And in fact, it's, it's often a very dangerous one. Our challenge with this is to make sure that we can find ways to reduce the risk associated either with stem cell transplantation or in fact to engineer ways to do these procedures without stem cell transplants at all. So while these cures offer valuable insights, they're not a practical solution for the millions living with HIV. That's why prevention remains our most powerful tool against HIV. Condoms are a simple and effective way to prevent HIV transmission. And PrEP, a daily antiretroviral pill like Discovy or Truvada, reduces the risk of HIV infection by up to 99% when taken consistently. And for those who find daily pills challenging, new options are emerging. Apritude is a long-acting injectable given once every two months, providing the same protection without the need for daily medication. You know, look, the next big breakthrough here is lenacaprevir, which is a six-month injectable, so you'd only need it twice a year. So that alone will reduce the burden on clinics. However, access to these advancements isn't universal. Insurance hurdles and high costs can prevent people from getting these medications. Systemic changes are needed to ensure everyone can benefit from these medical advances. Reducing stigma is also crucial in the fight against HIV. The one thing I wish people would understand is that it's just a virus. And, and what I mean by that is HIV stigma so often gets wrapped up in the behaviors that lead to HIV acquisition or infection. Education and honest dialogue don't just inform, they empower. With the right knowledge, individuals can protect themselves, support their communities, and help dismantle the stigma that still surrounds HIV. For the first time in history, people have been cured of HIV, proof that science can achieve what once seemed impossible. And while these breakthroughs inspire hope, prevention remains our most powerful tool today. Condoms, PrEP, and emerging injectables are transforming the fight against HIV. Progress doesn't happen in isolation. It requires innovation, compassion, and a commitment to equity, ensuring these life-saving advancements reach everyone, everywhere. Together, we can move closer to ending the HIV epidemic. Learn more about the groundbreaking work of Grinder for Equality and AMFAR, and discover how you can be part of this brighter future.